Some of the more interesting stories in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure are those born purely from Araki's desire to play with the idea of physical phenomenons. Be it like Soft Machine, who can deflate and turn people flat, or how the green green grass from homestand can physically represent Zeno's paradox. Araki would use these phenomenons as a basis for his arc and build up from there. So it's no surprise that eventually he would dabble in one of the most common physical phenomenons, that being, what if people could shrink? And he did this first with Fromaggio and his stand, Little Feet. Formaggio is the first member of La Squadra that we ever encounter in Part 5, and with his introduction it's also established how dangerous this group is, as unlike a majority of groups within the series, La Squadra shows how driven and dedicated they are to one another by Rocky making it so they would never surrender. They are kill or be killed enemies, and we haven't seen a group like this since the Pillarmen in Jojo, and Formaggio sets the scale for this quite well in his fight, but before we get too into that, we should actually understand the meaning behind his name. Formaggio is a name that is a direct reference to the Italian word for cheese, which is a huge part of Italian culture. With Italy over its years and years of development has created an abundance of cheese, 600 different kinds of cheese to be exact. And in ancient Rome, the practice of making cheese was considered a mature and respectable art form. Though the reason that Formaggio might have been given this cheese-based name might refer to the fact that cheese can sometimes take a long time to produce, with specific cheeses like cheddar, Swiss, and blue cheese taking months to age. And this is reflected in Formaggio's stand, as it has a slow burn-esque ability, and requires him to focus a lot while doing it, though the results, like a well-aged cheese, are well worth the time investment. As Formaggio's stand, Little Feet, is a force to be reckoned with if left unchecked. Little Feet is a humanoid-esque stand with a robotic theme to its design, as most of its body appears to be covered in what looks like metal all bolted together. And one of the most noticeable details about Little Feet is that one of its fingers is a protruding claw-like index finger on its right hand. This claw is razor sharp to the touch and seems to be able to scrape or slice most anything it comes in contact contact with. Now Little Feet draws a direct inspiration from the same place that Magician's Red did, and this being Enki Bell's Carnival of the Immortals, specifically XB2, an android character who was a rather minor character in the story nonetheless, as they were just a robot being used by the Immortals to act as a political scapegoat for an upcoming election. Though things don't go as planned and they are quickly removed from the story, and you can see how direct this influence was when you look at the faces of both of these characters. And Araki himself even mentioned this inspiration in his Jojo Veller about Little Feet. There also might be a more subtle reference to this in the David Production Team's animation for Part 5, as when they are showing Formaggio's ability in their own original animation for Part 5, we see him use his stand in a sneaky way to pull off a not-so-subtle assassination against a political figure. And the reason I bring this up as a possible reference to XB2 is that he was only part of the story to be a target of a mass political assassination. Now, of course, this is mostly just a coincidence, but I thought it was interesting enough to bring up. Now, stats-wise, Little Feed has a D in destructive power, B in speed, E in range, though we'll talk about that in a second, and A in durability, a D in precision, and a C in developmental potential. Now, ability-wise, Little Feet has one major ability, which appears to be weak on the surface, but thanks to the assassin's mind of Formaggio, he learned to use it in the most effective way. And this ability is shrinking. Now, how shrinking works is that once Little Feet's index claw scratches a target or cuts a target, that target has now been infected with the shrinking ability. This infection, over time, will begin to gradually shrink the target down, and they seem to shrink at a rate of 0.5 five centimeters a second to 27 centimeters a minute, which is roughly a foot a minute. Though these numbers do assume that the several minutes that took Formaggio to shrink Narancia down to eight centimeters was around six minutes, since the only amount of time we officially have is just several minutes or a few minutes, and six minutes is on the long stretch of what people assume a few minutes means. So the shrinking effect could actually be much quicker. Along with this, if a target is shrinking, all of their clothes and items on their person will begin to shrink as well. But if they remove this item from their person, it stops shrinking and returns to its original size. This is best seen with Narancia's shoe and pocket knife, because as soon as they were off of him, they were no longer shrunk. Though it is unknown if you add something to your person, that if that will begin to shrink with you as well. The only 
example of this that we have is that when Formaggio put himself inside Narancia's pocket, he maintained his smaller size in comparison to Narancia at all times. Also, there is no limit to how small a target can shrink, or the amount of items that Formaggio can shrink at one given time, as since it builds over time, the target could theoretically be shrunk forever until they are beyond even microscopic levels. And even though the range of Little Feet is an E, this is only the body of the stand. The effect of the ability will continue to take effect on the person until the user's concentration is completely broken off of them. And this is because his ability requires Formaggio to focus his energy on a specific target. Though if he ever wants to undo his shrinking ability, he can return something to its original size without losing any focus. And if he does return it to its original size, it does so instantly. This aspect of his ability can work in Formaggio's benefit as he can pocket items like a pencil to be used to fling himself away from danger, or or pocket large furniture that he can regrow to its regular size after throwing at an enemy, which he does so in the PS2 game. Or it can turn bad for him if he loses focus on a target that he is trying to actively shrink and they are instantly brought back to normal size. Though all the rules of his stand do not apply to Formaggio himself, as Little Feet allows Formaggio to freely change his own size at will, allowing him to also make quick getaways and never really being put in the same danger as someone he might shrink. As as soon as something bigger than him shows up, he can always return to his regular human size. Now, Little Feet gets its name directly from the American rock band Little Feet, which was founded in 1969 but disbanded in 1979 due to creative differences, only for the band to reform after the founding member, Luel George, passed away in 1987. The band's name was based on a side conversation between Luel and another of his bandmates' mothers, where she said that he had little feet, though he decided to change the second E in feet to an A to pay homage to the Beatles. Now, Formaggio and Little Feet seem to be a reflection of the band in a multitude of ways. First, of course, you have the obvious, the fact that they use the word little. And that's important because when Araki was writing the Little Feet arc, he wanted to write a story where people shrank down in size. But along with this, Formaggio himself also seems to be a reflection of the band's history. You see this both in how Formaggio was mocked by the rest of La Squadra for having a quote-unquote weak stand, aka Formaggio was mocked for having little feet. Though this mocking only drove him to find a creative and unique way to use his power to make it extremely powerful, with him even saying that whether a stand is worthless or worthful is all up to how you use it. This is a reflection of how Lowell took the comment from one of his bandmates' mother and turned it into his band and brand. Along with this, another interesting fact about Little Feet and Formaggio, since the band Little Feet's name is a direct reference to the Beatles, possibly means that Araki was always planning to make another La Squadra member with a Beatle reference for a stand. Especially since Little Feet's first album, Little Feet, featured a piece of art called Venice and Snow, which is both the ability and setting of the White Album fight, and White Album is a direct Beatles reference. Then of course you have the fact that all of the squadron's actions in part 5 are based off the death of two of their own at the hands of the boss, meaning that after the death of someone close to all of the members of La Squadra, they begin to put their full effort towards taking down Passione, which is much like how when Little Feet reformed years later in memory of their lost founding member, who specifically worked on a solo career to try to raise money and reform his broken band so he could restore it to its former glory, as he felt like his fans were owed that much at least, yet he died on tour. Which that aspect is actually slightly mirrored in the fact that Giletto and Sorbet were investigating the boss's identity, specifically so La Squadra could have the blackmail on the boss and so it could be restored to its former glory, only for them to wind up dead for their efforts. And this reference is supported even more so by the manga or the source material, as through the Little Feet story arc and Formaggio as a character, all of this information is given to the reader, including the existence of La Squadra and what they're after. Though one of the coolest parts about Formaggio as a character is even though he was designed to be an assassin with little to no remorse with taking a life and given a specific punk aesthetic to his design, with a mesh shirt, mesh wristbands, and a studded leather jacket with cut off sleeves, Formaggio is actually one of the more sociable members of La Squadra, though his socialness seems to come from more sheer apathy and listlessness than it actually is him trying to be genuinely sociable. As Formaggio, when placed into a situation that doesn't go his way, instead of freaking out like other members, merely just recognizes the situation with his vocal quirk of saying, it can't be helped. Along with this, Formaggio seems to want to put the least amount of effort into doing his job, and little Feet the Stand reflects this as it takes forever to actually get its job done, 
but when it does get it done, it gets it done right. And even though Formaggio has a job as an assassin, due to his lackadaisical nature, it doesn't seem to have numbed him on the same level as the rest of his gang. He has his own personal limits when it comes to assassination, and seems to want to avoid a mess when it comes to killing someone. Along with him saying he'd rather not watch more gruesome deaths like a person getting eaten alive by a spider, and if someone close to him were murdered, he'd be genuinely upset and shaken by it. But at the end of the day, Formaggio may not be a super in-depth character in comparison to some of the other characters in Part 5, but his role in the story of Part 5 is irreplaceable. Not only does his arc act as a setup for the first group of antagonists in Part 5, but he also shows the change in stakes when it comes to stand battles in JoJo, because no longer can you have a fight end in JoJo without at least one casualty. Though don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that there weren't any casualties in earlier parts, it's just that a majority of the stand battles in parts 3 and 4 ended in a peaceful resolution or the enemy just being retired. But when it comes to La Squadra in Part 5, there is nothing that the crew can do to end things peacefully. Each fight with La Squadra will end in a casualty, either on one side or the other. This is a kill or be killed setting, because the theme of trust in Part 5 is something to kill and die for, especially in Passione. And it's represented in such a beautiful way that makes readers look back on the fights between La Squadra and Bruno's gang and realize that at the end of the day, the two groups aren't that different. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash many not the bad guy. And if you want to take vengeance for your fallen gang members, well first I say that you have to go to buyshimanetta.com and purchase yourself a copy of Shimanetta. That way that you know that you're really motivated and dedicated to getting your revenge.